Hello everyone, my name is Clementine, welcome back to Clementine Creative, I am back with another video. Uh, this time we have a bit of a different video, we can also see that it's not on Friday, and don't you worry, this video is not going to replace the Friday video. This video is here because I <coughs> basically played around with, uh, you know, speed painting, and I got, I made this portrait, uh, so I thought I'd share it with you, uh, maybe you'll find it interesting, maybe not. Uh, I think these speed paints could be good. It's a good opportunity to just talk about the things that I want to talk about. And uh, what I wanted to ask you is, uh, you know, if you have any kind of suggestions or anything like that, uh, write them in the comment section below and I will reconsider doing them, depending, you know, on what people want and whatnot. Um, I think that that would be kind of nice, you know, I, I feel like I keep doing things that I'm interested in and I feel like I should be doing things that you're interested in. So, yes, we have, we're going to have two videos this week, uh, at least two videos, uh, this one and the Friday video. Uh, so, you know, it, it should be pretty interesting. Uh, you know, you'll have one video more to watch. Uh, this is a 10 minute video. Uh, the reason why I did a 10 minute video uh, is because uh, it's, a, it's a speed painting process that I wanted you to get a little bit of a ble uh, better look at how I did it, you know, so if I did it on 5 minutes it might be a little bit too short. Uh, this painting took around an hour and 20 minutes stops to make. Uh, it was something very quick I threw together, kind of warm up for the work that I did later on. Uh, sort of practicing my, uh, I guess, anatomy or proportions of the face uh, and digital painting, you know, practicing lighting uh, and just, you know, things like that. So this is what I'm basically doing right now, just rendering shapes here. And uh, really, there's a lot of knowledge that goes underneath speed paints. Uh, that's why this is something that you shouldn't tackle when you start, you know, painting. Um, now, before I continue uh, talking about digital painting and speed painting, uh, I have my coffee here, so I'm just going to have a sip of my coffee. Nothing better than uh, recording and drinking some coffee. Like, this is the, I guess, my favorite part of YouTube. Uh, I'm really looking forward to where I can just sit down, record, and drink coffee or what, what whatever, so it's kind of nice. Uh, but anyways... Uh, as I was saying about uh, speed painting, it's not something you should be doing uh, when you start digital painting just because uh, it's very difficult to put down something effectively when you don't have a lot of skills or a lot of experience. Not skill, because that's kind of mean. Uh, when you don't have a lot of experience. Uh, the reason why is because you won't be able to quickly put anything down. Like... Anything that you will want to quickly put down will look kind of like crap, you know, <laughs> and I know this from experience and it took me two and a half years to be able to make speed paintings and this is now, you know, now I've actually started to do speed paintings. So it takes a long time before you actually get, you know, the necessary experience to be able to pull something like that off. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world just because, again, if you don't have a lot of experience, you can't really do anything really fast. You have to like look at things, figure it out, and that sort of takes time. Uh, and I want you to know that it's very important that you spend more time on a painting than little time. It's, it's not about not spending a lot of time on a digital painting. It's not about, you know, the shorter it is, uh, the better uh, it'll be. You know, people shouldn't compete themselves or compete to each other with how much time they spend on a painting. Uh, they should compete themselves on... Is that the correct way to say it? Compete? Compete each other? Compete each other? Compete each other uh, in, uh, you know, the quality of the actual painting. And I think this speed painting trend has really given the wrong idea about uh, painting in general because even in our business, uh, even though we do things relatively fast concept artists must be able to produce things fast uh it's still not about how fast you do it it's about how good it is believe me uh if you have crappy work you will not have any sort of success in this type of business because it's all about quality here uh, it's all about quality and uh, quantity but if you want to have quantity you first have to work on your quality because 
you know, speed, which enables you to do large quantities of work, is something that gets unlocked after, you know, years of doing uh, digital painting. So I'm going to have another sip of my coffee here. So yeah, basically now you're seeing it's getting pretty pretty refined, this uh, painting. Uh, we're about six and a half minutes in the recording and we still have uh, about three minutes left. So, you know, there's still going to be quite some work done on it. Uh, but you can already see it's uh, getting very recognizable. Technically, we could already leave it uh, this way. Uh, I think here I've been about an hour into the painting, uh, maybe 45 minutes. So, you know, now just throwing in some of these highlights. And it's, you know, really all about <coughs> general highlights that make the, the, I guess, the portrait look realistic. I'm sorry about that. I had a little something in my throat. I'm getting a little bit... Uh, sick right now so that's something we'll have to deal with. it's winter uh, but anyways it's all about these uh, uh, I guess these little highlights on the face that make it look realistic <coughs> when I started out I always thought that the face has a lot of these uh, shadows you know just in different places and it does but what I also thought it had is a wide or a wide range of values, which the face does not really have. The face is very flat. Uh, it doesn't have those really dark blacks uh, or dark grays. If we're looking at black and white painting now, it doesn't really have those dark grays or really bright whites. It's it's uh, just um, kind of you know mid mid tones. Uh, with exception of some highlights, you never use pure white or pure black. Those are one of the two colors, if we can call them colors, that are never used at their full capacity because they're really strong and I guess their full extent, like they're, if we use pure white, we only use that for in special occasions where we have to create really hot highlights. And black we create when we have to create really dark shadows. So never use, you know, completely black or completely white, like, you know, pure black, pure white. Uh, avoid that in painting and just generally when it comes to speed painting, it's all about having the experience. Uh, don't try to do speed painting if you don't have enough experience because it's going to get frustrating and you won't like the result. It's, you know, you're going to think it looks crappy. And that's really gonna discourage you. It discourages. It discouraged me when I started out, and I later realized that there's absolutely no point in doing speed paintings if you don't know how to paint. So, speed painting is something professionals do. Uh, sorry, I had something in my mouth. I think it's a hair. It's really nasty. <laughs> it's really nasty. I got my own hair in my mouth. Um, I think that. I guess what really looks interesting is when you see all these professionals, because professionals do digital uh, speed paintings, right? Uh, when you see professionals do it and it looks really hot, really sexy, you got this brush strokes, you see everything, everything looks awesome. That's because they have a lot of experience, they have years of knowledge of proportions and whatnot, and everything looks great. But when you try to do it, it looks like crap. That's because you don't have the experience. So, you know, build up the experience first. You know, put speed painting is one of the last things you should be doing. Uh, just, you know, keep it, you know, keep it on a hold. And uh, I'm sure that eventually you will be, uh, you'll have enough experience to be able to complete a speed painting. But let's see where we are with the recording. I think we're on nine minutes. We have a little bit less than a minute left. Uh adding in the beard now and that's going to be about it i'm going to do some level adjustments behind the scenes so you won't be able to see that but that really will be uh the it so now just you know change the background a little bit and uh yeah that's that's it for the speed painting uh, i hope you enjoyed this little portrait uh, uh, that i painted hopefully you'll like the commentary that i put with it uh hopefully i said some some useful things today if not i am sorry uh again I hope you like this piece, I uh, hope you learned something about speed painting, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Everything changes. Her hair and her makeup. Uh, here we can see again I'm doing the second version, now putting in the flames, and now I'm going to do the third version, and that's going to...